may chance si Santiago if he keeps this uh, as an inside fight sa tingin ko. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This content is presented by Arena Plus. Astig sa sports. The, the Santiago and Nakatani fight. What are your thoughts? Winter, you wanna... Uh... Yeah. I will gonna give a slight advantage in favor of Junto Nakatani, to be honest with you. The guy is such a powerful guy, a very technical fighter who loves to fight outside, but he can go in, he can move forward. I think this guy is a kind of a complete fighter. But with the style of Alexandro Santiago who can move forward also and a very technical fighter, I, I should say that it will be a... Um, 55 to 45 in favor of Junto Nakatani. And I really think that um, Nakatani could outbox Alex Santiago Barrios. But the thing here is um, we saw how Alex Santiago is evolving every fight, di ba? We are always seeing him improving and improving and improving and he even beat one of the future Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer, no need to deny it, but the guy is on the father time. So we want to see more from Alex Santiago Barrios. We will gonna see it this time if that was just a bluff victory against a old um, and past prime um, past Nonito Donaire Jr. So we're gonna see it. And hopefully that he can show us a great fight on this one against Junto Nakatani. Ako naman sa akin, ano, um, uh, this could be a very interesting fight for Junto Nakatani because uh, while I actually favored Junto Nakatani here in this fight, I just felt that um, Alexandro Santiago is too small. And sometimes, if you're too small, it's harder to hit you. Hit Alexandro. He's only five two against five seven. And uh, Alexandro Santiago, we saw him against Donito Denari and, and Nieves. Sobrang sipag din ito sa muntok eh. Sobrang marami, sobrang masipag din. Um, so I, I'm, I'm curious to uh, kung uh, straight bang kago niya dito mga punch nito ni Hunto ng Katani kasi yung power punch niya. Uh, I, I still believe ng Katani is gonna win here. I don't know if he can knock out uh, Alexandro Santiago if if he's gonna be able to hit him. Um, may ano may chance si Santiago if he keeps this uh, as an inside fight sa tingin ko na uh, Ronces. Pag inside fight to, tas para mihan lang na suntok. Uh, baka may chance. Kaya piring ko mahirapan siyang ano hanapin si ano eh. Uh, Siguro to na baka mahirapan siyang hanapin si Alexandro Santiago. But if he finds him, he's going to knock him out. For me, ano, I think ano, in this fight, Punto Nakatani will throw a lot of straights and jabs. He will utilize his ano, eh, longer reach. And I think he's going to move more here. I- ideally, that's the, the yeah. case. No, ideally that's what you want to yeah. do. Kaso sobrang liit kasi hindi ko lang alam kung paano kasi sa style ni ano sa Santiago um feeling ko kaya niyang magano eh pumasok sa loop eh. But yeah, ideally you could do that. Pero I think I think hindi straight ang dapat niyang gawin. Sa so, tingin ko pagpasok upper ang aiabang niya. I I think ano eh he will utilize his reach in lang. Mm. Hello, Sir Pam. Hey, go, Pero, Harvey. Uh, what do you think? I think Juntos going to win because he's just more well-refined as experienced boxer. He is more experienced. Like He's such, such a refined and, for me, like almost flawless. But, mm, wow. They, of course, mm. David Santiago can has can has this, like, this stomping feeling that you think you're going to win. Like All of a sudden, when he hits you, it's just like, oh, no. Oh, no. Like It's just that Maybe it's because Santiago has the youth on his side and that he has some sort of power that can just make people think twice when they box with him. But I'm giving the edge to Hunto Nakatani on this. 